This instructional video is designed to give you insight into perturbation theory and how it works to provide us with closer approximations to true answers than what we might get from a very solidly derived but still model system. The solutions will have three parts. A Hamiltonian that we get from the model system, the wave function that we get from the model system, and the energy we get from the model system. The true solution also has these same three parts. And so if we want to, we can write out this true Hamiltonian as the model Hamiltonian plus a bunch of other ones. We can write out our wave function solution in the same way, where our true wave function takes the model solution and incorporates any of a number of corrections. And in the same way, we can then, with a Hamiltonian and wave function together, determine an energy. And so we'll have that original part plus the additional terms. Now what's important to note about this zero term here, here, and here, is that there are three things to know. So that zero it's something that we can actually find. So it is findable. It's something that actually exists as a solution that we can write out to some reasonable uh, mathematical degree. The second thing that we can articulate is that it is well defined. The zero order Hamiltonian wave function and energy will not have any weird reasons for existing. The ways in which it is deficient in comparison to the true Hamiltonian, true wave function, and true energy will be well defined as approximations that were made for the sake of making it fine. And the third thing we need, if it's something that we can find and it is well defined, then it should be close to correct. So we want something that's close to that correct or complete answer. And if we have all of that, then what we can do next is simplify these parts into something that may be a little more usable. So we can rewrite the true Hamiltonian as that zero order part plus some additional portion. So this is well defined because we know what the gap was that made the zero order part findable. As a result, we'll have a wave function that if we roll all of those terms together, will simply be corrected by some additional piece. And barring a bit from the language of eigenvalues and eigenfunctions, we would then expect that the energies will simply have some additional part owing to the degree to which we use this additional part of the Hamiltonian, the wave function correction that we're able to find will give us that additional portion to the energy. And that's the basics of how you would use perturbation theory to improve upon the answer you get in this zero order from the approximate solution.